Hi, my name's Chris, and I wrote the song Home that you guys are checking out today. And I got a little video for you about writing overall. For me, most of my writing is songs, and uh, songs are specific. They have a form. Uh, there can be various forms to them, but they do have a form. And so sometimes that dictates the content and the amount of uh, material that you need to generate. Uh, for me personally, I've ha I always find a time where something starts to flow and words start to come. Usually I begin by playing guitar and then I'll hear melodies or maybe even lyrics, phrases, uh, rhythms of, of words. And there might not even be words at that time, but I hear the sound of the song in my head. And often I find that I'll have a period where maybe it's the period of inspiration where things start to flow and words start to come out and when this happens for me I really make a point to just write down everything that comes out and figure it out later because uh, there definitely are two steps for me there's starting uh, to generate content and then there's crafting the song to uh, the final product I've got some notes here I'm looking at uh, with songs, uh, the sound of the words matters a lot as well as the meaning. And as far as meaning goes, I really try to, to speak a truth from me. And that makes things very easy as far as I can tell this is a good thing to say or this feels right. And I, I try not to get too specific. I try to leave songs so that any listener can hear the song and find his own meaning in it or how it relates to his or her own life. Uh, I think those are the most effective songs and songs, all writing really is for uh, communication from the writer to the audience and with songs uh, as a performer that's a much more direct relationship because night after night I'll be on stage in front of people singing the songs and feeling how people are responding to them uh, whereas people who are writing only in text maybe for publishing a book or something like that it's not such an immediate feedback uh, loop that's happening let's see so I mentioned I try not to keep uh, to get too specific where uh, if some reference happens that uh, a listener doesn't get or can't relate to personally sometimes the spell of this song is about me that a listener will be feeling can be broken and so I really try to avoid that uh, there are a lot of themes in life that are universal and all people feel some things individually that we all feel together um, I think the I mentioned before I really try to uh, capitalize on a time of inspiration and really generate as much content as I can and that time is really important because that creates the uh, the material that you'll have later to edit and uh, with, with songs as I mentioned as well the form and the frame framework of a song is key and so uh, usually at a certain point where I've generated a lot of content I'll start working on editing and then at the same time be strategizing looking through the complete form of the song so I might have the form of the song somewhat established but not a lot not all the material of uh, content but that allows me to uh, to hang a phrase in a certain part of the framework and also to see how much content I need and how much I'll need to generate to fine-tune and finish something where maybe the bulk of it has come out of material generated at the time of inspiration. Uh, I think the last thing I want to say is that uh, for me, it sometimes there will be a moment where I'm out in life driving around and a lyric comes to me or a phrase or a theme, but usually, almost always, when a song is generated it comes from me sitting down with the intent to write a song and saying 
Now, what I'm going to be doing for the next while is writing a song. And I really make a point, once I've started that, not to leave the process until the song is completed. There will be some songs where maybe a few phrases or lines I'll come back to a week later, make a fine tuning adjustment, that type of thing. But I would say maybe 90% of songs that I write, I'll sit down with nothing, and by the time I'm done, it could be two hours, three hours, four hours later, the song is done. And uh, that really makes a big difference for actually finishing things because a lot of times, for me, I will uh, be in a zone of a song and everything that is relating, all these different parts are in my short-term or mid-term memory and I have a feeling in me about the song. If I come back to a song that's half written a week later, almost never will I find myself in the same place in myself to, uh, to complete a song in a way that feels continuous. Anyway, I think uh, I love writing and that's what keeps me doing it. So I think as, for anybody who's going to be a writer, find the way to write that you really enjoy and uh, go with that because if you enjoy it, I think that other people will enjoy what comes out of it. All right, peace.